The good news about Jesus has always been too good not to share with other people. The transformational effect it has on every believer is too powerful to not be presented to those who received Christ. The gospel needs to spread to all people. Therefore, Jesus gave this great commission to his followers and we read it in Matthew 28 verse 19 and 20. And it says, therefore, go and make disciples of all the nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And teach these new disciples to obey the commands I have given you. And be sure of this, I am with you always, even to the ends of the age. Now there is a call to action in this verse. Go, which implies the need to actively exert energy by sharing what Jesus taught. And that is evangelism. Then there is the instruction to make disciples of all nations. Now, even though this instruction was given to the first followers of Jesus, it has an implication on every Christian to this day, and therefore on you and me. The meaning of evangelism is spreading of the Christian gospel by public preaching or personal witness or the zealous advocacy or support of a particular cause. No, these are big words, but it basically means there is a natural outflow that results from the life-changing effect the gospel has on a believer. It should cause a Jesus follower to can't help but share Jesus with those who don't know him. Now, whatever means possible could and should be used to testify of the change he has made to your life. Now, there is no bad time to evangelize and do evangelism because Paul states it in 2 Timothy 4 verse 2. Where he says, preach the word of God. Be prepared whether the time is favorable or not. Patiently correct, rebuke and encourage your people with Good teaching. When we look at discipleship, we see that the literal translation of discipleship is to be a learner. Now, when we become disciples of Christ, we're not only called to learn the teaching of Jesus Christ, but we are also called to live them. Now, the more we live the teachings of Christ, the more the Christ within us will become visible. The more it becomes real within us, the more we will radiate Jesus, which will draw people to you whom he wants you to evangelize. So we often grow the most when we teach other people. Now, once a person has been evangelized and becomes a disciple of Christ, the journey has just begun. With the power of God on our side, we are capable of so much more than what we could ever imagine. Ask God to guide you in the way you tell others about him. Live so close to his heart that it will become easy to share it with people around you. And then also be ready to be discipled by mature Christians so that you, in return, can do the same for young new believers. Let's pray. Lord, may my life testify of your love and may it help others to see Jesus and help them grow spiritually as his disciples.